Hey guys, Smokey here with the next um, review. This time it is Mary and Max it is made in 2009 and directed by Adam Elliott. Um, it is a stop motion film, I do believe. That's what it looked like. Um, if you, uh, Mary Max, Mary and Max, if you've ever seen it, um, it's about a little kid who wants a friend because her life is basically dog crap. Um, and so she got while well, her mom's in the store stealing stuff, she innocent steals also, but steals the name out of the phone book. Um, she's from Australia, he's from New York, and that's who she chose was Max. And they talk back and forth throughout the years. Um, Max has Asperger's and is really weird on certain things to the point she keeps asking him stuff Mary does and he ends up going to a psychiatric ward where they diagnose him with his Asperger's. Um, and he, no, I believe the main message of it was to accept yourself for who you are. Um, you know, you hear your voice and stuff like that just by how it goes. Um, but they talk back and forth. Sometimes they're friends, sometimes they're not. Um, depending on what he does and she does. Like while he's in the psychiatric ward, she thought he completely forgot about her and moved on with his life. And once he explains stuff, she forgave him. And then uh, she ends up writing a book to go to school to study all this stuff and uses him basically as her guinea pig by going through their old leathers. And he gets mad at her for it. And eventually she starts to have a happy life. He somewhat has a happy life. He wins the lottery and stuff. And she ends up getting married to a guy she had a crush on since she was little. Uh, she gets rid of her bowl that she had, which kind of plays a big part, at least the first half of this uh, short film. And then um, he, the guy ends up leaving Mary while she's pregnant and she uh, gets that letter from Max and it kind of goes depressed, starts drinking and slowly becoming her mom and then she tries to uh, delete herself, I think what you can use now to say that stuff, and with some volume and uh, the cowboy's lasso, and um, <clears throat> she ends uh, being saved by her old neighbor who's scared of people and it's a really sad story yeah. she eventually goes to New York to meet Max and the day she arrives he died early that morning and she, you know, she sees that he archived all the letters he gave her her collection of or his collection of novelettes I think is what the show was called that they both liked um, and he had some of her other stuff that she gave him just kind of sprinkled throughout his apartment uh, it's a really sad story it's a good story um, tackles a lot of issues you know certain things kids are blind to like with Mary's parents that you probably can't even talk about on YouTube anymore and some of the stuff with Max I don't even know if you can talk about that's why I'm kind of tiptoeing around it here but yeah, that's it for this one. I mean, it's just a sad story. If you want to go watch it, it is on Tubi for free. Um, it's a good watch. I have no idea what I'll be doing next, um, video-wise. There might be a vlog. I might do another, like, half of a show, you know, five seasons of a show or something. I don't know. Anyways, that's it for now. Please. I'd say like, comment, share, subscribe, you know social media and all that fun stuff. Peace.